been to Olive Garden? No. If you ain't never been there, let me tell you what happens. So you get to Olive Garden and you sit down at your table, okay? They bring you a basket of breadsticks. Most, bread sticks be hidden. Most like delicious that. bread sticks you'll ever have in your entire life. It's right next to Cheesecake Factory, the little brown bread with the oatmeal. It's right next to it. Right second to it. Now, they bring the bread out and you eat one bread stick. Then you lose your absolute mind. You eat two breadsticks, you eat three breadsticks. You just, God forbid, they brought out the salad with the cheese. Your stomach is just, just full of stuff. And so then they bring you a menu. You ain't even got your order yet. They bring you the menu. You scroll it, you're like, okay, I'll get some chicken marsala. Okay, I'll get some lasagna. Okay, I'll get chicken fingers because I'm basic like that. Like you, you make your order, right? Then when the waitress comes out, with your meal, some strange happens where you realize that you don't even want what you thought that you wanted. And the reason that you don't want it anymore is because you consume so much bread that you don't have capacity for anything else. And that's what happens when people get the bread of life. That's what happens when people get Jesus, is that they are so full of his love, so full of his power, so full of his truth, so full of his grace, that they don't have capacity for foolishness no more. The thing is, we, 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 we be saying certain things about Jesus so much that we, we forget how much it hit. Like Jesus is over here saying, I'm the bread of life. Have you ever eaten bread before? Well, when you eat bread, it holds weight in your body. And so Jesus is saying, I ain't just here to save you, I'm also here to satisfy you. You better teach. I ain't done. Then you got Jesus talking about, I have living water. Something strange happens to the mind when it's dehydrated. It's like, it's like when you go into a desert and you don't have water, something happens where you start to see water where it doesn't even exist. That's a mirage, but that's also what idolatry is. Is that you think that because you are so thirsty in your soul, you start thinking that there are sources of water where there actually aren't any. But Jesus is like, if you just, if you just knew who you was talking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. So that's all I'm saying is that when you preach Christ for real, when you, when you teach God for real, when you exalt him for real, that is what changes the passions of the people. And so if we want people to stop being deceived, we got to help people love God more.